All right, guys, welcome back into another preseason DFS video. We got the two game slate here for you. I'm going to be covering that. But as always, I like to do a little recap. Um, if you watched yesterday's video, you know that it was a good night. We had pretty much every top score in our player pool, so that was really nice. Um, all the Packer players that we hit highlighted that was a game I was trying to stack. The New England Patriots game, that was a nice one. Pretty easy to predict there, running back wise. All the running backs that we touched on, like our top seven running backs, all score touchdowns. So that was phenomenal. That was really good. And then just, we pretty much had two receivers in each of our lineups that scored a touchdown. Obviously, our tight ends did pretty well. Uh, Dallas Godart, he did really well for us. So that was nice. Stacked him and Nate Sudfeld in pretty much every cash lineup and every tournament lineup, high stakes tournament lineup. So that was really nice. Had a good week. Um, as for this slate, I'm going to be honest with you guys, I'm not going to tell you which players are my core players. I'm just going to overview kind of my whole player pool. Why? Because ownership is going to be a key factor. And I, you know, there's not that many people that play preseason DFS, especially on a two game slate. So I, you know, I kind of want to gain an edge there. So, but some of the players I'm going to be looking at, actually, Sam Darnold, I'll tell you much, that much right now. I think he's going to be pretty highly owned. So I kind of want to go with Teddy Bridgewater instead of him. I think Bridgewater's a little bit better at this point, but obviously Bridgewater will probably get the first half, which is going to be against a little bit better players. Um, kind of your, what you want to do there. Um, go with whoever you feel is going to score the most points. But could honestly just be a stay, to, stay away. But last year they passed the ball the most in the preseason. Not the most, but they had 31 um, attempts in, the, in each game last year. So, I mean, that's something you kind of do want to target. It's going to be hard to know who to target receiver-wise. Because, honestly, they have a bunch of really decent receivers. You got T-Pry there. Robbie Anderson could get a series of two. I don't think Quincy Noonwa's going to play, but you could go with him. Don't mind that at all. Um, you also have our Darius Stewart and Chad Henson both trying to make the team. I think I like all those plays. Trenton Cannon's a guy that's been receiving a lot of hype out of camp, so I could see you playing him. Edo Smith for the Falcons, though. He's also been receiving a lot of hype. Um, he's the RB3 on their team right now, so he's trying to fill that Teron Ward role. And Teron Ward had a pretty good preseason last year, so I think that could be more of the same for Ido Smith. And the receivers for the Falcons, any one of those guys is going to be more like the Jets receivers. Kind of just have to play situationally, stack it accordingly. Um, but let's get into the Lions versus Raiders here. Um, last year, Jake Rudock did really well for me for my preseason DFS lineups for quarterbacks. Um, he should see about a half a play as well, again. This week, so I, I, I don't mind that play at all. Once again, it's going to be figuring out who to stack him with receiver-wise. Um, Redding has been getting a lot of hype out of camp, so you could definitely go with him. Uh, Jace Billingsley, though, is a guy that led them in receptions in the preseason last year. Um, so I think that's going to be more of a safer option. The only problem is he hasn't been getting a lot of hype out of the preseason. Really not much at all, whereas last year he was. Um, you could go with Kerryon Johnson at the RB spot. I also don't mind Amir Abdullah. They should both get some rum, both for different reasons. Um, getting into the Raiders though, Connor Cook, you go with EJ Manuel, he has more of a running ability, but I think Connor Cook's going to tear it up, he should be playing in the second half, so really not a bad option there. Chris, Chris Warren's more of a bruiser, goal line back, um, maybe he just punches in a touchdown for you. Then you could go with Martavis Bryant, I don't mind that, heck maybe Jory Nelson and Derek Carr will hook up on a touchdown in their first two drives, really just got to look for playing time. Alright, hope you guys enjoyed this video, appreciate it, watch, please give me a like and subscribe.